So currently, that is very difficult to get in the United States. Amniotic tissue, which are really not stem cells, they're growth factors. Placenta, the tissue that holds that. They're outlawed in the United States in, by this method. You have to be in a, what's called a 351 FDA study, meaning that you have to apply for a new drug application to produce this, to produce the data that the FDA feels is adequate to prove that that stuff works. It takes tens of millions, millions of dollars and five to ten years to prove that it works. But we already know it works. Go back to that document I've talked about before, 2003, U.S. Senate, John McCain, senators said it's a miracle. That was 20 years ago. 20 years ago. They were talking about diseases that you've never heard of, like Krebe's disease. These are kids that are born with metabolic disease, eat sugar, one teaspoon, they're dead because they don't have the genes to, to, to change it. They gave them stem cells in this study at the U.S. Senate, and these kids are still living. So it works. I agree we need more research, but we also should have the ability to obtain them ourselves. They're not dangerous. They're very safe. In my opinion, in my experience in the last 20 years, I have never seen a side effect from these materials. Let me repeat that. Not one side effect. Now that's kind of unusual because all these drugs, like the new one for Alzheimer's, tons of side effects and only a 10% quote-unquote reduction in symptoms. So we have the cure. It's being held from us. We need a bigger voice to our government. They are our servants, I believe. They work for us. They're withholding the evidence for our well-being.